Grouch Inc. Podcast. Hello and welcome to episode 17 of the Grouch Inc. Podcast. Hey, what's up? What the fuck is going on? I feel like shit. <laughs> what's wrong? Uh, just vertigo crap. I got a headache. Feel a little nauseous. I got a headache too. I'm mean, right temple. Migraine shit. Yeah, I think it might be allergy related or something. I don't know. Uh-huh. Hard telling. Still got a runny nose. I've been getting over some sickness too. Yawning. Yeah. Uh-huh. I've been yawning all day. I didn't get much sleep last night. Yeah. Had a terrible night. I noticed. That's no fun. I have nightmares a lot, though. I think they call those night terrors. Mm hmm. And you wake up all sweaty and sad and. I've woken up literally in tears, yeah. Yeah. Not good. I don't know if it's true or not, but I've read somewhere that, like, the more intelligent you are, the more intense your dreams are. But Hmm. it's probably just the more paranoid you are, (laughs) the more (laughs) intense your dreams are. (sighs) I don't know if I'd. Consider myself intelligent or not. I would consider you very intelligent. I don't know if that has anything to do with my scary nightmares, but... <laughs> All right, so what do you got over there on your list to talk about today? My list? I just have news that I got off the Huffington Post. Okay, let's talk about that. I got it all under weird news, because that's mm-hmm. what I like to read. Yeah, me too. Um, one of them was a pony, but everyone thought it was a unicorn. <laughs> I seen the picture of that. It was like a runaway... He literally did run away from a photo shoot. This was Wednesday, and the cops chased this pony named Juliet for over four hours in Central California. Wow. Yeah, a very cute pony, but it had several near misses because it went across multiple highways, and it was in a lot of danger. So it's a cute story. I'm glad it didn't get hurt, but it could have... I wonder at what point they realized it wasn't a real unicorn. Yeah, and how many dumb people... A lot. A lot. Where did, where did it happen? California? Yeah, I know that on a lot of social media, they're like, well, holy shit. It's Ooh. real. Yeah, the Pegasus is here. I'm like, first of all, Pegasus has wings. Yeah. If it were real, ever. <laughs> Obviously, it's not. But... And Hercules isn't far behind. It uh... just had a horn on for a photo shoot. That's yeah. It. All right, then next, there was a woman who got arrested. Her name's Shakira Thompson, last Sunday at the Kennedy Airport. She's 24. She had a half a pound of cocaine worth ten grand. Guess where she crammed it? Her butthole. Her V hole. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's an expensive vagina. Mm-hmm. If you look it up online, it's a pretty. It's like giant egg shaped. How much was it? A half of a pound? Is half a pound. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It said ten thousand dollars worth. Yeah. Fucking yuck. That's uh, an expensive dildo. Yeah. Shakira. She's lucky that didn't, uh, whatever, she's keeping that end and bust and kill her. <laughs> she got a lot of blood vessels there in the vagina. Um, yeah. Wow. I don't know why people attempt that stupid shit. Fucking stupid. Yeah, 24. Yeah. Hopefully she learned her lesson. Young and dumb and full of drugs. I got one more that right. I thought was pretty funny. This was the 27th in Mesa, Arizona on Highway 60. There was a sewage truck. Mm-hmm. It was hauling porta potties and it rolled over. Oh wow! <laughs> um, luckily, all of the porta potties were empty, but the vents on top of the septic ta- septic tank they uh-huh. s- they spilled and feces and urine got did get everywhere. Oh my god! So it was pretty disgusting. Smell it for miles. Yeah, no one was hurt, and nice enough. Yeah, nice enough. The workers that were driving the truck they're the, they're the ones that cleaned it up. That's surprising. I'm surprised yeah. they didn't have to get some people in some hazmat suits. and. Mm-hmm. It's the people that made the mess yeah. that cleaned it up. That's rare. It is very rare. So congratulations, whoever that company is, for cleaning up your own feces. That's pretty nice of you. And uh, you're pretty dumb for spilling it. Yeah, so, that's gross. I guess, yeah. Well, they were trying to avoid a vehicle. Yeah, that's fucked up. I don't Shitty know. situation, no pun intended. I didn't write down the exact situation, but it happened at 5 o'clock, so it was probably like... Yeah, rush hour. Rush type hour. Deal. And they swerved to miss a vehicle in some way. So they were doing the right thing. And then they did the right thing, cleaning it up too. Yeah. That's that's cool. I mean, what a shitty at least drive they home. It up. Yeah, no shit. Can you imagine <laughs> seeing that? Yeah. Smelling I that? I can imagine smelling that, living around here. Yeah. Unless you're from the Midwest, 
You don't know what it's like to open your front door and smell hog shit smack you in the face. <laughs> yeah, and they they have these fields around here that the stuff that they use for uh, non food purposes, like when they use corn for ethanol and that E eighty five shit and mm -hmm. fuel source. They can spray uh, human waste on that. So oh, good. We get a good whiff of that, too. Oh, my God. And we live in the middle of a bunch of Amish fuckers, so. They smell like poop anyway. Yeah, the, the, the fucking pig farms and their horses taking shits right in front of our house. There's and, poop everywhere. Everything yeah. is poop. Poop is poop is poop. Yes, a very, very shitty situation. Do you have any news? Nope. You got another show added, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, Fate Complex is going to be playing at the Nickel Plate Saloon March 19th for the owner Richard's birthday party. Ooh. So that'll be cool. And we're playing, um, I don't recall the band that we're playing with because Tyler spelled it all funny when he sent me the text. What it looked uh, like. I'm, I'm not sure. Hmm. I'll have to get back on that one. Uh, we got the guy's name. We didn't actually get the whole name of his band because Richard's very uh, cryptic. Mm. Yeah, and doesn't, you know, like a man. doesn't give you a lot of uh, information when he sees So it's his message. birthday, huh? How old yeah, is he getting up message. to? Uh, I don't know. He's probably uh, mid-40s. Oh, okay. Not that bad. I imagine about 44, 45, yeah. That should be fun. So still pretty young. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. We're going to play for an hour. So, uh, yeah, if you're in the Peru area, March 19th, come check that out. And then March 20th, we're playing at the... Um, Emerson Theater in Indianapolis. I'm so excited for that. For a big March Madness show. Yeah. Buy some tickets. They're only 10 bucks. Yeah, it's 10 gonna be amazing. bucks. It's going to be more expensive if you buy them the day of the show at the door. So you mm -hmm. get them from us. They're only 10 bucks. There's going to be tons of bands. It's a rock and metal show. Uh, and there's always a great crowd there. They've got a professional sound system, great stage. All ages. All ages, which is rare for us. We're usually playing in clubs and bars mm -hmm. and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Absolutely. It'll be fun, so if you're uh, in the indie area, check that out March 20th. Yeah, there's lots of rock shit for sale, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The uh, motor guy told us last year that everything sold out. Yeah. Everybody that brought merch, t-shirts and whatnot, sold killing. the fuck out. Yeah. So we're actually going to try to get some t-shirts printed up before the show. Awesome. Yeah. And we'll have our CDs for sale, as always. You want to listen to a Fate Complex song? Yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's listen to one. Let's listen to Everyone Loves a Martyr. Nice.
This is the Reverend Bob Levy, and you're listening to Grouch Inc. Podcast, because you're not listening to the Bob Levy Show, you pricks. All right, yeah. Uh, if you haven't got a chance, check out our interview with the Reverend Bob Levy, awesome comedian. He yeah. was in episode 15, I believe. And also check out his website, uh, RevBobLevy.com. And check out his show. It's yeah, fucking... the Bob Levy Show. It's a podcast on the uh, Radio Misfits Network. It's... Hilarious. Okay, hilarious. Yeah. yeah. He's, no. oh my God. He is, uh, what I love about Bob is he's not politically correct and he's not afraid of that. You know, nope. he's funny and uh, he knows it. And he's he uses right it most of the time and he knows it. You know what you I know? mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So check that out. I can't wait to talk to him again. Yeah, we'll have him back on here in a few months, I'm sure. He's got some awesome projects going on too right now. Warrior Point. Check that out. Help yeah. for Vets. And Always he's got a cause. movie he's producing. Hey, I forgot about that. Called what is a podcast? What is a podcast? Yep. Check that out on IMDb. Yeah, I think that comes out in the, uh, March, actually, or April. So that'll be cool. I'm stoked to see that. I can't believe it's February 29th. Yeah, leap year. Mm hmm. And how did we use that extra day? Well, we're recording, so that's good. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's the bright side. I made some biscuits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what else did we do? I did the dishes. Yeah. Just a bunch of uh, boring shit, really. A bunch of home stuff. We looked up a lot of news and made a WordPress, but it's not done yet. Yeah, we're trying to work on a website and get something going there. Mm -hmm. The job market sucks. I applied for six jobs today. In total, I've applied for like 20. Yeah. I was supposed to have a working interview last week, which got rescheduled to no time. They haven't got a hold of me yet. Yeah, they're really fucking slacking on that one. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, I guess we'll see. Hopefully I get hired somewhere soon. Um, I heard Leonardo DiCaprio won an Oscar. Yeah, a lot of people were pretty excited about that. It's only took him like 25 years <laughs> or something like that. It's adorable. He looks so happy, though. Yeah, it's good for him. I haven't actually seen the movie that he was, uh, you know, that he won the award for. I haven't but either, but I hear I've it's heard worth it's it. pretty brutal and awesome. So I'll probably be checking that out soon, and maybe we can even talk about it on here. Yeah, we should see it together. I mean, we haven't seen a bad Leonardo DiCaprio movie. Nope, other See, than Titanic. Shit you, want about him. you haven't even seen Titanic. I, I watched it once with you. Oh, you uh, did? Yeah. That's adorable. I, don't, I didn't like it. I didn't care for it at I all. I saw it in theater like when it came out. Yeah, and it was just in theaters a couple of years ago in IMAX uh, 3D, and they just re-released it for some wow. reason. Wow. Yeah. They re-released it because... My, my favorite movie of his was uh, The Departed. Oh, my God, yeah. yeah that's that amazing. was a cool one. An Irish mob movie. That was a really good one. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All right, we saw The Walking Dead, too. What would you think about it? Uh, a lot of build-up. They've, uh, the second half of that season, of this season, uh, season six, has been pretty cool, but really different. And now that you know Rick and Michonne are together. That and, was my next question. Have you uh, seen the little promo pic with them, like on top of a cliff? No, that's Lion funny. King style. They're yeah. looking out. Like they're the new head... Yeah, <laughs> they've got so much going on. They got Maggie pregnant, and now Rick's got a girlfriend again. And... Yeah, I didn't like the very end where they were all just passing around that ultrasound pig. Yeah, that was, that was weird. weird. And they're all like headed to go fight someone and kill them. Yeah, so, like they're gonna go die. And none of them said anything. They were and they just took all the, looking. They took the pregnant woman with them, which mm-hmm. was kind of weird. And they let the pregnant woman, who had previously been pretty much raped, be yeah. alone. With a man with negotiations who they never previously met. Who was very creepy. Yeah, super creepy. And I thought he was going to do something creepy, but thankfully he didn't. Yeah, thankfully you lucked out on that one. I think that uh, next week's episode is going to be crazy because it's the season finale. So. Oh, fuck. Yeah, someone's going to die. Yes. Just a matter of who. Well, like the second I thought that Carol and... Uh, fuck, what was his name? He had an awesome name. Axel. I thought they were going to hook up. The second I thought they were going to hook up, he got shot in the face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's about how it happens on this show. I'd imagine. Uh, so maybe we think someone's gonna die, and someone's yeah, just gonna fuck. Yeah, watch it be Michonne. Oh man. Or Glenn. Glenn uh, in the comic books gets oh, yeah, killed. Oh yeah, he does get killed. As soon as he books. meets Negan, uh, Negan hits him in the face with a baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire and kills him in front of Maggie. I want to know if anyone else thinks Jesus's hair looks a little too fake. I don't, yeah. I don't think that looks like his hair. If it isn't your it's hair, not. dude, whoever you are, I'm sorry, but it looks bad. It's not. That guy's a really famous actor. I can't remember his name. I think he's British, too. Hmm. But yeah, that's that's definitely not his. The beard looks fake, too. Hmm. Yeah, but his hair looks very snapped in there. 
And his, but his character is pretty cool. He's like a fucking hand to hand combat. Expert I do like his and, character. Yeah, yeah, like kind of got a moral compass a little bit. He's a good actor too. Yeah, not bad. I didn't like him when they first introduced him, but now I'm, I'm warming up to him a lot. <laughs> We got some pretty cool stuff coming up. Uh, we're gonna have a few um, fellow podcasters uh, be guests on the show and talk about their podcasts a little bit. We also got uh, Gabe Dylan coming in here fairly soon, hopefully from uh, Getting Dug with High, and he uh, is a part owner in Honey Farm. I wish he could actually come here. That'd be amazing. Yeah, he'll he'll, he'll be talking to us uh, via Skype. Nice. Have some good weed talk. That'll good old Gabe. Yeah. And uh, we have been asked, we haven't got a date set yet because they've been having some problems in their uh, studio, but we're going to be on the uh, Artie Lang's Artie Quitter podcast Fuck yeah. here in the near future. He's invited us to be a guest, so that'll be pretty cool. I'm more than fucking thrilled about that. Yeah. And I'm going to be thrilled when we get our fucking SoundCloud shit sorted out. So that'll be up in the next couple of days. We will have all of our episodes available again. We've had some setbacks. I'm sure with- everyone can understand. We're broke as fuck, man, so... We're yeah, just waiting on the six bucks or whatever it is, and yeah, it's seventeen bucks. <laughs> seventeen bucks, and uh, yeah, we're having bad luck with computers and vehicles and goddamn. So we haven't had a car in over a month. Yeah, so yeah, we'll see what we can make happen there. But uh, thank you guys for listening. Yes, thank you for everything. You guys are what make it happen, and we well, are doing all of this because of you. We will be posting another episode here in a few days. Um, we're gonna play you out the song. The band is called Among the Essence. You remember them. They're good guys. We had an interview with them. They were nice and funny. Mm-hmm. They helped us record some of our songs. So yes, this they is, did. This is Among the Essence with uh, House of Pain. Good night, y'all.
Couch Inc. Podcast.